y equals ax plus b. Let's do 1x plus 3. Start graphing. Graph the next part and put it in automatic mode. And so 0, 1, 2, 3 on 0, then that makes sense. Then 1 times 1 plus 3 is 4, 5, 6, and that's correct. So let's start off with how the screen works. It's pretty simple. Uh, I think it's one of the simplest one by one screens I've seen. So if I want to just power this block, I can't do this because then I have to toggle this block. Then I have to toggle this block. Then I have to toggle this block. So to toggle just this block, it's, so I made that automatic. So when I power this trap door, that'll go straight to this piston, but it'll also go around to the next piston, which also goes around to the next piston, which also goes around to the next piston. So each one of these essentially does its own and all the ones below it. Pay attention to the direction that these observers are facing. This is one wide tileable, so uh, I can make a very simple screen just by putting a bunch of them next to each other. The next step is instead of a grid of gates, I put this circuit on top that makes it a X and Y selector. So let's select something in the middle something on the bottom, there we go, and I can toggle it off. This works by pulling these blocks back to select the X. So this line gets powered, this line of pistons gets powered, and all these particular blocks gets pulled back. So when I trigger any of these particular rails, it will only power the gates on this line. So I just pick which gate or which rails I want to activate and that will toggle only that one specific block. So the next step is instead of those levers, it's these doors. For the X, it's a multiplexer that when it changes doesn't flash or anything so it doesn't mess with the observers. Pretty simple new 1.16 demuxer. For the blue Y side of things, I had to instead of just having a redstone line go power down the signal, I had to individually subtract by one at every step. So where is it now? This piston is not being powered because this torch isn't on and this repeater isn't on. So up here where it has more signals, these repeaters are on and below these torches turn on. But right in the middle, it's just the right place. Well, let's say it was uh, where that turn off. Oh, all right. So right here, this is being powered, so the torch isn't on, and below, this isn't powering this block, so this repeater isn't on, so this piston is pulled back. So when this green line is activated, this will trigger this gate. Not to be confused with these gates, which are all just the same as this thing. Now 
You'll notice this is clean because I just ran the same graphing thing twice. These are all toggling pistons, so it toggled it to graph it and then toggled it to clear the screen again. Let me set a new function. Let's go 2 plus 2x plus 0 and start graphing it. Reset this and There we go. So what I just did right there is this green circuit is does two things. It goes down here and actually triggers the pixel and it goes over here and increments this yellow circuit by one. It does that by going 15 minus 14 is one. So this little memory latch that I reset previously will go down from 15 to 14 to 13 to 12 and that gets inverted to 0, to 1, to 2, to 3, to 4. So that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 just goes straight into this demuxer. Oh, it's finished. There we go. Nice graph. Uh, it overflows at 15, and you'll see why. Then over here, this is the whole calculator, this white circuit. For the B, it's pretty easy. This is all comparator math, so it doesn't actually add. It subtracts 15 minus a x's minus b, and then all, that all gets inverted here. So for the b, that's just this signal selector going straight into this main line. This main line also gets subtracted with x. Uh, an A number of times. So right now it's at two. So two of these pistons are retracted with this little half demuxer thing. So that means this X gets carried through as many of these as it can get to, which subtract into this 15. So 15 minus X minus X minus uh, zero. So that's the Y thing. Uh, you could put any calculator here, but that is what sets the Y. Let me run it again to reset it. This um, this lamp right here pretty much just says whenever the Y update ha the Y this calculator is pretty slow because it's all comparators, so it's just a light to say that the new Y value has pretty much propagated throughout the entire system. And then if I run that right back to the start with this block here, it will run automatically. And when it hits 15, it won't keep going up. So 15 is the same as 15. This is all run with a observer just checking when this changes. So it'll stop.